<laughs> Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I am back with some new color pop that I just got in. And uh, so <laughs> I thought we'd go ahead and get started. As far as what I use for my base today, I use the Lumi uh, Glotion and this by L. I met it or I mixed it with the Catrice True Skin and mine's in shade um, 04 neutral so that's what I have on for the base I did go ahead and use the ColourPop and their um, Pretty Fresh Concealer underneath the eyes um, I got in some new ColourPop and so I've been trying it out uh, this is the ColourPop bronzer this one is in Isle Bet and um, so it's actually the second shade um, I have been using Get Sandy so this is I'll bet and this is a little bit darker let me get you a swatch of the Get Sandy as well and that way you can go ahead and take a look at these so these are the two lightest shades from the ColourPop the new bronzers the putty bronzers so, yeah, going ahead and looking at them side by side. Get Sandy, I'll bet. And then, yeah. So this one is the uh, Get Sandy, and then this one is the I'll bet. So these are how these two turn out. And let's see if we can... So that's how those two look. And actually, I'm being able to wear either one, which I'm liking. Um, I think I actually, I would rather get one that has a little bit more of a pinker undertone, but I'm not sure which one that would be. So, um, but these two, the formula is great. It stays put. It's good. Uh, the other one that I got that's new from ColourPop is the Bardo blush. And so this is the way that it looks in the pan. I wanted to try something different as far as blushes go. So uh, this swatch of the blush, this is how that turns out. And that's what I have on my cheeks today. I used a little bit of the Seismic. I don't even think you can see it anymore. It's a ColourPop highlighter, and I'm just about out of it. But yeah, that's what I used as my highlighter. And this is what um, the Bardo uh, cheek, yeah, Super Shock cheek looks like. And that's how it looks on my face. So as far as what I have on my lips, I have the Cosmic Metals. And this is uh, from NYX Cosmic Metals. Usually you can find these in Ulta. They're an older formula, um, but they're really pretty during um, the holidays. They're very sparkly, and uh, they have a great purple for Halloween as well. I have the Sky High on here. Um, so Sky High uh, Mascara mixed with the Double Trouble by Essence. So this one is Maybelline, this one is Essence. I mixed those two. And as far as what else that I have that's new from ColourPop, it's this one, The Nightmare Before Christmas. They just re-released this. It actually came out last year. And again, it's another one from last year that I didn't get. So um, if you want to go ahead and put your create creativity to the test get this palette <laughs> and I'm just saying it because it's true um, it's very intimidating when you first you know take a look at it one of the things that I can say is that this shade is a duochrome and it is so beautiful it just ties this whole palette together what I have on I have this on the inner corner went ahead and put this right under the brow. Uh, this I put on the crease and right above the crease. This is what I have on my lid here. And we can go ahead and add in, let's go ahead and add in maybe a little of this under the eye.
Usually I don't have enough mirrors. Now I have too many today. Okay. So, again, this palette is going to go really smoky. And it has a ton of really dark shades to go ahead and do a smoky eye with. Some beautiful pops of color. This one, what is this one called? Uh, Frog's Breath. It's an amazing color. And where can I do a swatch here? So, yeah, that's a better swatch. Huh? There we go. So that's the swatch. And uh, yeah, really pretty color. It goes to a chrome. Uh, this is how the eye look turned out. And um, yeah, I think this palette is a lot of fun. If you want something different that's going to make you think a little bit about, you know, what colors. Um, and if you want a really good smoky eye palette, I would suggest this one as well. I'm glad I picked it up. It intimidated me when I first opened it. But yeah, give you creativity a test. So um, thank you. And have a great day. Bye.